Hello and welcome to this Profit Potential Pro video. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today, let's make an automation together. We're going to make an automation uh, which completely concerns if a certain competitor is on the listing with us. Now, we may find that there are times when we have just that one, uh, that one other seller that is very competitive on the listing, the one that we really want to be or the one that we want to react specifically against in order to help increase our chances of winning the buy box or maintaining hold over the buy box um, just to give us an edge. They might be really reactive, really competitive, like overly, uh, and we just need to be really on the ball with competing uh, with them. Automations can definitely help you here, just like it can help in so many other scenarios as well. Um, and so here's... Uh, an automation that we can uh, build together whereby it concerns a certain competitor on the listing. So of course, we're gonna go ahead and use the if a merchant is present on the listing option. Then all we need to do is go ahead and grab uh, that merchant ID. Let's paste that in there. Uh, we can give the automation a name. So let's just uh, call it uh, when that person is on the listing. Let's just go ahead and call it that one. So there we go, when that person is on the listing. So we've gone in and entered in the merchant ID so it knows it, so we know exactly who it is uh, that this concerns. And then we have a bunch of other options here. So we could do all manner of things with this. So um, let's say it's someone who is very persistent with undercutting us, okay? And you know, whilst we might have a strategy that we could set a repricing strategy that undercuts, but maybe we still want to keep um, a bit more of a profit focus with the strategy as well. Um, so therefore, if we have, say, like the balance strategy or one of the more profit focused ones set, but we do feel, you know, perhaps undercutting would be uh, useful in certain circumstances against this particular seller, but we don't want to necessarily do that against everyone. We could set up an automation that does something like this. So it could be whereby we decrease the minimum price. Uh, let's just go by a penny in this case. I mean, we could do it by whatever we want. We could even do it by a percentage. Uh, however, we feel is best to specify this, but it's completely, uh, you know, up to you what it is that you want to do. But in this case, in this kind of scenario, this is the sort of automation that we can build. And we can go on and, you know, we can be really specific with the automation if we want to. And as you know, you can make as many automations in Profit Protect Pro. So in theory, you could actually set up uh, a reaction to, you know, multiple competitors, like specific reactions to multiple competitors. You know, here, here's something else that we could potentially do as well. Uh, if a merchant like this, you just use the same one. You know, let's say we are using a profit focus strategy. Let's just pretend that this is a different seller ID. Um, and you know, against this one, we're on a balance strategy, but against them, when they're on the listing, uh, you know, we want to uh, go a bit more aggressive. So yeah, aggressive sales generator or super aggressive dominator maybe, or something like that. Um, you know, just when for there on the listing, we want to go super aggressive to really battle it out with them for the buy box. And then when they're not on the listing, it will then revert to whatever strategy we set previously. So just for them, we'll go a bit more competitive, a bit more reactive, a bit more sales focused with the buy box as the target, specifically competing against them in this kind of way. And then when they're not on the listing anymore, maybe they sell out or something like that, then uh, it will revert automatically back to whatever strategy we had set prior. So, um, you know, let's try this kind of automation, uh, see how it goes, uh, click on save, make sure that it's toggled on when that person's on the listing. And then, of course, we can go ahead and apply this to any of our items uh, in Profit Protector Pro. But there's all manner of different things that you can do uh, with the automations whereby you can compete with someone in a certain way when they are on the listing. Um, so, yeah. Try those automations. You can steal those from this video if you want. Um, hopefully this helps inspire you for automations that you could potentially make whereby another merchant is concerned. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.